our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Secondly, the heartfelt thanks to Pastor Mike and also to the relevant leaderships of this church for giving me this opportunity to minister to all of you in this morning. So we had a very good presence in this morning with the worship team and they led us so well. So I trust that you all felt the presence of the Lord. And in this morning, let there be a great transformation and new initiatives to take place in our lives. Hallelujah. So I always, um, when I look at the church, I consider the church as the working committee of heavenly plans. Entire church must go to the entire world to share the good news. If not, this church will not be useful. So I wish when I look at these videos and everything, the efforts that church is taking to bring up the next generation to do the will of the Lord, that will give the biggest honor and glory to the Lord. Sometimes we think that the worship is only singing, making use of the instruments and etc. But the biggest worship that we can give is fulfill the responsibility what God has given unto their hands. Amen, amen. So each and every one of you is given a responsibility from the heaven. I have been in the church since my birth and I have experienced two generations and especially uh, some of the pioneers that who ventured uh, different areas of Christian church and I was privileged enough to get a few experiences by being with them but still I feel very empty when I turn back to the church the reason for that is the church has not discovered yet what is the perfect and the real plan that God has given People are trying to just use the experiences in their daily basis, but the purpose of the God and the plan of the God is revealing day by day with new initiatives that God is implementing from heaven to the earth. So whatever the age that you belong to, it is not the matter. God wants to use you and he is waiting for a chance that you give to the Lord. He's already openly given the opportunity for us to be a part of his army because none other than the salvation given unto us by Lord Jesus Christ. So he has given the salvation. So make use of that. Be encouraged. You might feel that your time is over, but yet not. The thing is, God can just link you from one stage to the other stage. One era to the other era. So let this few minutes be a time that where we will understand and commit and also make decisions for God to make use of us in a deep and effective manner. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. So in this morning, um, let us turn to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verses uh, 1 to Nine that we are going to meditate on it. So, dear loving brothers and sisters, how do you feel by being in the presence of the Lord? Is it just an 
encouragement or just a nourishment that you take by being in the presence of the Lord? Or have you started to invest in the kingdom of God, not only finance, but the spiritual anointing that Lord has poured on you. That is very important. So people today, they have started to realize on the anointing of the others. What do you think about you? God never said it is only being meant for few, but it is for each and every one of us. Can you say amen for that? Amen. amen. So God is ready to take a man or a woman out of the grave as you all were singing to take you out of the grave and to make you a living creature to the dying world. But it is once again your decision, your decision, not his decision. He has already decided your decision is very important. Amen, amen. So in this morning I feel in my spirit Though that you all have been huge containers of experiences, having so much of values in your life, still, that some of you all have to make the decision to just overcome where that you have been trapped, that where you have been just entangled with the worldly things, you need to come out of that. You have already been set free but feel the liberty by serving the Lord. That is very important. So uh, when we come to first uh, book of Samuel, chapter 1, I do believe that all of you all must have read this part. This is regarding Hannah, Elkanah, how they were going under a very difficult and also stressful and hopeless period in their life. But when I was meditating on this word, uh, the Lord's plan was very much deeply decided in heaven. God saw in the temple, especially when the priest Eli was serving the Lord with his sons. God saw the future, what was really going to happen. But let me tell you, our God is a God who is not hasty. He is not hasty. The Spirit of the Lord is never in a hurry. Spirit of the Lord is very calm. So, Lord was planning something for the future of Israelites. We see here in the Bible, the third verse, year after year, this man went up from his town to worship and sacrifice to the Lord Almighty in Shiloh. Where Hophni and Phinehas, the two sons of Eli, were the priests of the Lord. When this book is written, specifically, here they mention year after year. Please consider that point. The second one is, this man went up to the Lord each year. So don't you feel that God's eyes were on the two sons of Eli? as well as on Elkanah and also Hannah. The Lord was focusing on them. But to be very honest, here the priest, he himself did not understand the plan of the Lord. Either Elkanah and Hannah, they did not understand, even the two sons of the priest, but they were serving the Lord they were doing the work of the Lord. The rituals were performed in the church. But God's plan was something else. 
God knew very well how the corruption is arising in the midst of this church and how it has been misled. But God wasn't hasty. God was not in a hurry to make a decision. But purposely, I feel biologically here, the Hannah was perfect. Elkanah was perfect. We have enough evidence to say Elkanah was perfect because Penina had children. Here, God wanted Hannah to be kept all along. And God gave us so much of a burdened heart. And God is just making her to train in the presence of the Lord to be God-fearing, not only that, a faithful lady. Not only God-fearing, a faithful lady. So today in your life, you may be going under a situation where that you may be feeling so much of anxiety and you may feel that you are just empty and you are hopeless. Don't you think if you just come into the position of Hannah, the same God Almighty is focusing on you. Amen. He's focusing on you. He's focusing on you, dear brother and sister. So if you are really open widely your hearts to the Lord in this morning, you are not going to be the same. There is something which is going to just make a transition in your life in this morning. You will never forget this morning, dear brother and sister. Mind that. Mind that. Let us uh, go to the verse here. The fourth one. Whenever the day came, Elkanah to sacrifice, he, uh, he would give portion of the meat to his wife Penina and to the all her sons, daughters, but to Hannah he gave a double portion because he loved her. The Lord has had closed her womb. So biologically she was perfect, but God has closed her womb. The Bible does not say that infertility was there in her. God has closed the womb. Purposely God has done that to Hannah. So in your life, why won't you speak to the Lord and ask, Lord, what is the purpose and what is the reason that you have closed some of my doors during some of my lifetime? Our God, the Almighty, the God of truth, never does anything without a purpose. God has a purpose for each and every act of his ways. Every act, he has a purpose. So still that we have not got the revelation of our almighty God to our lives, if he was able to just pick us among the billions of people, and still our doors are being closed up. If there is infertility, if there, is, if there are difficulties, if there are hindrances, if there are obstacles, don't you think that God has a purpose for it? God has a purpose. So Hannah thought it's an ordinary act which is taking place in her, that she's been barren. She was not able to give birth to any children. She thought that she is unfortunate. She thought that her prayers are not being heard by the Lord. And 
as usual humanity understanding she was just weeping and crying to the lord today my very first point is in your life nothing happens without a reason nothing happens without the knowledge of the almighty god stop weeping stop crying ask lord what is the reason that you have closed this path in my life what is the reason so god takes few minutes maybe few days till your heart is in preparation to accept what the lord says he can reveal it to you instantly but unfortunately humans are not in a position to accept what he reveals to us immediately he can reveal it to you even now but are you ready to accept it so god took time god took time a period where that hana and elkana to be prepared for what is going to be done through them for the glory of the lord amen. hallelujah amen. can you say amen for it amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah so you are a blessed congregation so lord has a plan he has designated seasons he has the way that god is bringing up people for his own glory so hana was not an unfortunate lady she was a blessed lady but she was in preparation for god's purpose Amen. hallelujah Amen. so today you are here don't be just dipped in the sadness come out of it you have a hope if we are able to have the eternal hope why can't we have the hope for this temporary world we have the eternal hope so god is preparing as hana was being prepared for the purpose of the god to be fulfilled so i see here there were regular believers they visited the temple of the lord they were sacrificing according to what they have got but still they never knew that there was a great plan hidden in heaven for the life of hana and elkana so they were just thinking of what is been not granted yet the children on the earth for their generation to be just filled but god has something else through them so you may be just focusing in your life regarding your youths maybe your middle age maybe your old age you may be thinking of the seasons and times of this earth but god is having some eternal plans to be implemented and to be established and also to have a manifestation through these establishments through your life so you must be widely open your hearts to the lord and seek what are the plans in a huge way that he has his plans are too simple but we are not too spiritual to receive them can you accept that Amen. into your life his plans are too simple because his plans are being done through us not by our might or by power but by his spirit Amen. that's why i told you his plans are too simple but we are not too spiritual to see them in our spiritual lives 
Therefore, whatever the experiences that we have gathered in our lifetime, when people are sharing with us, when the positions are granted, when we are being lifted to position, promoted, we just depend on them. But why can't we seek why the Lord, he himself, has closed some of my areas in the life with a reason, with a purpose. So discover that in this morning. So I would like to take you to the verses here. The seventh verse. This went on year after year. This went on year after year. Is there something which is coming behind you year after year? Day after day? Week after week? Does it make the rival against you? Provoking you? And you still feel that there is no answer for this? Do you think it is a lifetime question? Do you think it is a lifetime hindrance? No. The year after year, the rival is there provoking you. But year after year, God's purpose is behind you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So discover it. Grab it. Take it to your spirit. You need to make a decision. I see something here. Now, if we just go theologically into this chapter, we see this. Uh, Eli's sons were very elderly characters. Now, there is no time for God to just bring somebody from the childhood to this maturity to do the will of the Lord. Because then, then there will be a vacuum. Lord is trying to do something special during this season. Something unique during that time. If not, the congregation of, of Israelites will be lost through a period. Because they were not practicing what God has said. These sons were in uh, evil desires. They, they were not God-fearing priests. Whatever they have done in the sight of the congregation and also in the sight of the Lord, not, it was not right. As a result of that, the fear of the Lord was vanishing from, from that congregation. It was a corrupted church going in the way that Satan wanted. Then Lord wanted something unique to take place. What is the reason? Because his honor will not be given to anybody. He doesn't want that to happen. His holiness should not be criticized or demoted by anybody. Because he is holy. He is worthy. None other than him. So now is the point. Now this is the mystery that you must catch up in this morning. If God has taken a long period of time for you to give an answer, if your ways are being blocked, don't try alternatives. Your God is same yesterday, today, and forever. So our mistake is, our failure is, that we try to taste our God in different ways. But he is the same God and he is the same taste. Amen, amen. So that is a mistake that we do. Sometimes we try to taste our God by changing the churches. Sometimes by changing the pastors. Sometimes the way that we are worshipping. But our God is same. He is yesterday, today and forever. And his taste does not change. He is the same God. Hallelujah. We see some influence in the churches. So they, sometimes they try to taste God in the different ways. So we'll have to just uh, forgive them. We will have to tolerate that. Because the reason is God is just about to show the real taste of him to that particular person. So here what is happening is now, 
We see in the uh, eighth verse, Elkana, her husband would say to her, Hana, why are you weeping? Why don't you eat? Why are you downhearted? Don't I mean more than you, than ten sons? So he was trying to comfort as much as he can. Much as he can. But God is not speaking even a single word to Hannah. Because that was a spiritual dealing that God had with Hannah. So in this morning, to have a transformation in your life, to open the closed doors, it is not a physical dealing. It's a spiritual dealing. You must go to the depth of your spirit and deal with the Lord that he shall reveal what he is going to do. Now, Hannah made a vow. That is the agreement. Till that agreement comes out of her mouth, God was waiting. He didn't want to tell Hannah that I have chosen you for this purpose. No, Hannah decided that if you give me a son, that child will be given to you in all the days of his life. Now God decided, still, trust me, Hannah is not conceived. No conception has been done. Now what God is going to do is, once the conception is going to take place in the womb of Hannah, he is going to anoint that conception with highest anointing as a prophet to come out of from the womb of Hannah. So there is a little period of time a young man has to raise. Young man has to uh, stand up as a prophet and he will have to take care of the nation of Israelites. So there is no time for God to train him. Therefore, God decided, now Hannah is ready and her heart is ready. If I anoint a person in the womb of Hannah, that definitely she will hand over to me the child and that child will have the heart to follow me and I'm going to use that child. Amen. Just see the work of the Lord. So pastors do not have to decide about your life. Your decision will show the destiny of your life. Amen. Your decision. So now, where are you being misled? Where are you being just lost? Come back to your life. In this morning, come back to your life. And are you trying to find God every day in different ways? He is almighty. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. So he will not change. So you do not have to try in different ways. He is same God. If you want to be connected to God, there is only one way. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the life. He is Jesus. So you don't have to try in different ways. There is only one way. There is only one truth. So are you still not known the truth? Are you still trying to find the truth? And meet the truth in this morning. He is Jesus. Through Jesus. If you. Understand your situation. If you are still struggling. Teenagers. In your life. Do you feel that there is no hope? Just connected to God. Start the relationship with God. Through Jesus. Not by any other way. And you will have to understand that you are being closed in some areas due to a reason that heaven needs. Due to a reason the heaven needs. Heaven is ready to take control of your life. Even the fruits of your life that God will utilize for the purpose of the extension, the expansion of his kingdom. Amen. Dear loving brothers and sisters, 
I wish that this word will be put into your life as a seed and deeply rooted and it shall bring out the purpose of God through this church, through your ministries, through your lives. And if you struggle even one night, even one hour, today you cannot forget this message. You will have to realize there is something spiritually happening to me. I will have to decide the dealing with God. Can you remember that Moses was chosen by God and God spoke to him? And while he was coming with his wife, in that night he had a very, very huge struggle. What was that? Spiritual dealing for a sanctification of his sons. Spiritual dealings do not meet with fleshly things. Flesh is flesh. Spirit is spirit. Understand these two separately. So in this morning, shall we raise on our feet and be bowed to the holy throne of God. Now do you understand why that you have been blocked on your way in this spiritual journey? Why that you suffered in some seasons? Did you think that it was Satan troubling you? So you are redeemed already by the precious blood of Jesus. You are redeemed already. You have been sealed with this spirit of the Holy Ghost. You are completely protected. You don't have to deal with Satan anymore. Don't worry about Satan. Because as your pastor said, already Jesus has defeated the Satan. So in Christ, we are victorious. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Still, if you did not understand why during many years as Hannah's womb was closed, why financially? Why in your family with all your inheritance? Why that you were closed up? There is a reason. Can you without being hurry? As a prayerful woman like Hannah, allow the Spirit of the Lord to speak to you and make the covenant with God, then your problem will be sorted for the glory of the Lord. You will be benefited. You will have the happiness, but it is for the glory of the Lord. Gracious beloved Father in heaven, thank you Lord for this morning and opening these doors widely to be on this altar. Gracious Father, our dear pastor, Pastor Mike, and all the relevant authorities of this church to be blessed and the efforts that they are trying to take for the glory of you. And Lord, here, you spoke to some of the hesitated people I just find in my spirit there are five who are really hesitated like Hannah but Lord God will set you free completely fear not fear not gracious father now I rebuke all the powers of evil to go away from these lives and also we pray this church will be an example of the, the continuation of book of Acts in the Bible. And Lord, within a short period, you anointed a person in the very first stage of conception, the Samuel, and you brought him out as a child. He was so matured to understand what is good and evil. 
because of that anointing he had from the mother's womb itself gracious father the same potential to be manifested in this church in this morning the young people the elderly people to be blessed in the name of the resurrected name of our savior lord jesus christ gracious father let the spirit of the lord to be hovering in the midst of this church and be entered into the hearts of the people and have captured their entire lives and use them in jesus name i pray Praise God for this opportunity.